Hello all, today in this video I am going to give a demo for adverse drug effects detection with different machine learning algorithms and will make a comparison. Here specifically we are going to work with Adabus. Previously we are going, we have worked with different machine learning algorithms and in this code we are going to work with Adabus. So this data set we downloaded from Happy Faces and it was in some other format. We just converted into CSV file with Python only. The same video is in our YouTube channel. Uh, so you can check over here that the data set is com com comprised of different features like unnamed text and label. Here you can notice that every uh, features are just uh, integers except text. Here the text is, will be used as the x variable and label will be used as the y variable. And since this text is an object type, we have to convert it into a vector. So we, we will be using count vectorizer. And we are also getting whether we are, our data set is having any null values or missing values. It's not having. If it is having means we have to work with pre-processing. Since it's not, we have deleted the pre-processing session. And then we are getting the shape of the data set, which is about 23,516. Then we are just plotting a graph by using the value counts in the label variable how many zeros are having and so how many ones are there and based on that we have just uh, uh, plotted a graph then we are using uh, the train test split function to generate variables like uh, x train x test y train and y test by use of the train test split function and the x variable and y variable and we have set the test size as 0.2 that is 20 percent will be used for testing and remaining the eight person will be used for training feature extraction we will be working with the uh, count vectorizer this count vectorizer will convert the text into vectors then we, uh, we have worked already with the different uh, algorithms like logistic regression and we have plotted the confusion matrix plot and displayed the classification report parameters and uh, got an accuracy of 86 then we worked with support vector mission and displayed the confusion matrix plot and uh, uh, displayed the classification report and got an accuracy of 89. Then we worked with the cat boost and plotted the confusion matrix plot and displayed the classification report and got an accuracy of 86%. Then we worked with passive aggressive classifier and plotted the confusion matrix pl uh, plot and uh, reprinted the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 81%. Then we worked with the random forest and plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 89%. Then we worked with the naive base and plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the uh, classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 82%. Then we worked with the KNN and plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 78%. Then we worked with the decision tree and plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 84%. Then we worked with the XT boost and plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 85%. Then we worked with the gra gradient boost and plotted the confusion matrix plot and printed the classification report parameters and got an accuracy of 80%. Now, in this work, we are going to work with Adaboost. As I am saying, usually the only difference with every machine learning algorithms is the library. So, here we are just uh, importing the library which we needed for Adaboost, then calling that library function within a variable. That variable we will be using for training and testing. Training will be done by use of the fit function and testing will be done by use of the predict function. With the uh, training, we will be using the training variables and uh, with the testing, we will be using the testing variables and based on, we will declare a variable uh, called prediction 
ए बी दैट प्रडिक्शन ए बी वी विल बी यूसिंग टू प्लॉट द कंफ्यूशन मैट्रिक्स प्लॉट एंड डिस्प्ले द क्लासिफिकेशन रिपोर्ट पैरामीटर्स बोथ द कंफ्यूशन मैट्रिक्स एंड द क्लासिफिकेशन रिपोर्ट पैरामीटर्स और डिस्प्लेड बाई यूज ऑफ द टेस्टिंग वैल्यूज ओनली सो यू कैन नोटिस वी हैव गेट सम लेस वैल्यूज ओनली द कंफ्यूशन मैट्रिक्स प्लॉट एंड वी हैव गॉट एन एक्यूरेसी ऑफ सेवेंटी नाइन परसेंट देन वी हैव मेड एंड कंपेरिजन फॉर कंपेरिजन वी आर मेकिंग अ वेरिएबल कॉल्ड मॉडल्स एंड विद इन द मॉडल्स वी आर कॉलिंग ऑल द मिशन लर्निंग अल्गोरिदम्स विच वी हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड सो फॉर लाइक लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन सपोर्ट फेक्टर मिशन कैट बूस्ट पैसिव अग्रेशन रैंडम फॉरेस्ट नेव बेस के एन एन डिसीशन ट्री एक्स जी बूस्ट ग्रेडियन बूस्ट एंड अडा बूस्ट देन वी आर मेकिंग अ फॉर लुक Within the loop, we are just declaring these models and then training the model, testing the model, and also declaring the model and testing the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we are going to perform some performance metrics on the model. Then we